The Oceans campaigner Lewis Pugh has reached the halfway mark of his 330-mile swim from Cornwall to Dover. But he is battling a painful shoulder injury as he heads into the second half of the swim. Well, Rebecca Williams is in the Isle of Wight this morning, where Lewis will be arriving shortly. He uh, was due there already, wasn't he, Rebecca, but had, has had that bit of a delay. Uh, yeah, yesterday conditions were pretty bad. There were gale force winds, so he couldn't get in the water. He tried twice. It wasn't meant to be. So he started very early this morning, I think about 5.30. And he's due here about midday. It's going to be the longest stretch that he's done so far. As you can see, a lot of people have already gone in. Uh, we'll have a bit of a chat, I think, with a few of them. Uh, good morning to you, Chris. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Um, so what's it like, the water temperature? Lewis, do you hear midday? Oh, well, the water temperature is fabulous at the moment. It had a long, hot summer. Yes, looking forward to seeing him come in later. We're still here. We tend to like to go in earlier. <laughs> um, what do you make uh, of what he's done? Well. I understand he's doing it to raise awareness about plastics in the ocean, so that is an amazing thing to do. We should have been doing it 50 years ago, but better late, late than never. Yeah, that's an amazing achievement. Good luck to him. Very good. We'll let you uh, get back to things. Um, but as we've been saying, of course, Lewis, uh, due here about midday, it is an absolutely beautiful day today, perfect conditions for swimming. He has come up, though. Again, some pretty bad weather the last few days. He's had an amazing summer of it. And uh, there is another issue. Here's my report on what that is. The stabbing pain <laughs> yeah. afterwards. So when I'm in the water, it's not so okay. bad, but okay. afterwards. Okay. Back on land and struggling with a shoulder injury. Okay, yes. it's when you get out. Well, if I'm yeah. going over two hours, yeah. I can start feeling it. Okay. So in the water, you'll still feel it then. Yeah. yeah. Ocean campaigner Lewis Pugh has been swimming pretty much every day for hours at a time. It's the bank where we are. Yes. yes. Yeah. A bit down. Earlier on this week, he put out an urgent request for help for some physiotherapy, and Bournemouth Football Club has come to the rescue. I very, very rarely get injuries. My body is a little bit like a mule. It just, it's not fast, but it just keeps on going. Uh, but it's disappointing to get it now when we just cross the halfway mark um, because there's still a lot of swimming to go. And three, two, one, push, push, push and relax. Lewis is given the once over by the club's doctor and physiotherapist and the diagnosis is soon confirmed. There's no quick fixes with this but it's how do we, how do we get you through the next 25 days and get it, get yeah, it done. Thanks, thanks. You've got a little bit of irritation around the sheath of the tendon, you see that little bit of fluid sitting there? After an ultrasound scan on both Lewis's good and bad shoulder, he's then shown exercises that are all about building up his strength. Coming down the joint slowly. Yes. yes. Yeah. Unless you get on top of it now, there's a potential that it get progressively worse, and there, and there is a possibility that it could hamper his, hamper his progress. Yeah. So we're at that stage now that if we can get on top of it, uh, and these are quite difficult to get on top of, but f but following a specific regime and some some exercises. Hopefully we can dampen it down and he can, he can finish this amazing challenge of his. We go in 15 seconds. Before Lewis started his swim, Professor Mike Tipton assessed how his body could handle cold seawater for long periods of time. The test showed it had very little impact on him. And now Mike believes that the strain his muscles are under is likely to be a far greater issue. He's completely changed the way we normally use our body. He's now using his arms a lot and his legs not very much, so that's going to change him. He's going to lose weight off his legs uh, and he's going to start to get problems with his arms. Lewis has now gone past the halfway mark, but things seem to be changing. So far, Lewis has been lucky in that he's had idyllic conditions as he swam from Cornwall uh, through Devon and then to Dorset. But things are changing. We're here in Portsmouth at the moment and there are gale force winds and they could get even worse. His shoulder may have received the best medical attention possible, but there's still a long, long way to go until the finish line. But what a difference the day makes. It's beautiful here in the Isle of Wight today. And I have to say, this island was a huge dilemma for Lewis's team. They were trying to decide whether to go south or north of it. North, of course, would have been good for that message. He's trying to promote uh, the fact that he wants 30% of the world's oceans to be protected by 2030. And, of course, there'll be a lot more people for him to share that message with if he went north. But they've chosen to go south. The reasons for that 
is to make up time with the good currents that there are at the moment. There's also uh, 30 kilometres less if he takes the south route, which they're obviously uh, pretty pleased about. And it's also the end of Cow's Week, so I suppose it's also a blessing in disguise because there won't be quite so many boats around this side of the island. But like I say, here's you here in the next few hours. Yeah. We'll be meeting up with him, so stay tuned for all the latest developments on the long swim. I'll tell you what, Rebecca, there is nothing more British, is there, than no. being on the seaside and having a lady whip a cosy <laughs> off under a towel on camera. Live uh, on no. <laughs> I won't be going in, although I have got my wetsuit, so never say never, maybe later. Well, well, we shall see. Becky, thank you. Morning swim on a Saturday, how lovely. A bracing swim and then It'll whip your cosy off because it's a bit wet. I think she could have waited till we'd finished oh, interviewing her. She was cold. It's just, so you know, British, isn't it? Getting the, getting the towel on, yeah. whipping you. At least it wasn't windy. No, yes, <laughs> thank heavens for that. Anyway, we'll keep you up to date with Lewis and his progress, of course, every day, every morning on Sunrise. Yeah.